Good morning. I am awake and that is about it. I'm gonna go get ready for work now. super happy about it but I'm awake I'm in the car and I'm headed to work and I'm running a little bit late so why that just came on really loud I don't know um I'm running a little late so let's go I shouldn't but I really need a Diet Coke. I mean, how can any day go wrong that starts with a Chick-fil-A Diet Coke and hash browns? I can't go wrong. That's what I'm doing. So I definitely think that I'm ready for the day. I stopped and got me a Chick-fil-A Diet Coke and some hash browns. I'm gonna snack on those. Um, the rest of my, my drive, the rest of my drive to work, and the sun is shining, which always makes me happy. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Totally, totally. On this particular route to my office, there is like tons of construction. Like, it's so bad, so bad. You see all of that? It's just like, it's everywhere. 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 All right, I'm feeling more awake, a little more talkative. So, let's chat. Um, yeah, so today, Wednesday, July the 13th, I am officially starting daily vlogging. Yay! Ooh, and the crowd goes, Whoa! Um, anyway, so yeah, that is the goal, daily vlogging. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm gonna do it one day at a time, right? Um, in other news, today, July the 13th, 2016, I am 18 weeks pregnant with Bambino number two. So that's exciting, I'm almost, almost halfway um yeah and if you didn't know bambino number two is a girl we're having another girl people my gosh we're having another girl mace is thrilled mace is so excited about getting a baby sister um she was saying it was a girl all along like she was just 100 percent team girl from the beginning it was pretty funny and in fact when um we told her what we were having darren um told her that the doctor told me that it was a boy <laughs> and she looked at him and she was like i don't believe you it was pretty funny she was adamant it was a girl so anyway that's exciting Eight, 18 weeks 18 weeks in two weeks, we go for our 20 week scan, so we'll get to see the baby and see how she's growing and how she's doing, and so that's exciting. Um, I don't know, so when Mace was born, she had, there were some complications. Um, the placenta stopped growing, so she was growth restricted in the womb. Um, so when she was born, she was only four pounds, 13 ounces. So there is a um, higher chance of me having that same problem with the second pregnancy. So um, at 28 weeks, they will start doing like weekly um, ultrasounds. I think she said, or they'll start at 28 weeks, they'll start actually monitoring um, the growth of the baby to see um, how she's growing, if she's growing the way she needs to be growing. And that will put us, 
that would put us 10 weeks out from um, her being born. So anyway, let's just pray that that doesn't happen and she grows perfectly and she's healthy and Mace was, was healthy. Like there wasn't anything wrong with her. She just was tiny and so she had to be in the NICU for a couple weeks because she was so tiny. But um, yeah, so we're hoping that there's no complications this pregnancy and everything just goes smoothly. And I will be scheduled for a C-section, um, I guess just depending on towards the end of the pregnancy, what's going on, I'll be scheduled for a C-section like the first week of December. So I'm gonna have me a December baby. And possibly, possibly, depending on how everything falls, it is possible that she will be born on my birthday. We might share a birthday, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, so that's what's going on. I am headed to the office at the moment. Um, got a full day of work ahead. Um, might sneak out and grab some lunch today because I woke up late and um, didn't have time to grab my lunch so I may sneak out for lunch so uh, I'll keep you posted on that yeah happy Wednesday So, I'm heading to lunch, you know, and I always have the best of intentions. I've been bringing my lunch, but I was running late today, as you probably saw earlier in this vlog, and I was running late, and so I didn't have time to grab my lunch. So, I have the best of intention. I'm like, I'm gonna either go to Whole Foods and a salad, or, you know, I'll go somewhere healthy. I don't know what happened. I just don't know what happened. So far, it's going well. I've got the camera. I've been videoing a video this morning, and now I'm videoing on my lunch. It's going well. So talking to my bro about vlogging on Snapchat. Yes. This is where I ended up for lunch. The bell. Taco Bell people. I stopped at Taco Bell. This is what happens when I don't bring my lunch. Not every star in the midnight sky. 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 Okay, so the lunch break is over, and I'm heading back to the office. I'm not going to see what I'm going to do. I have a star in the midnight sky. Caught every star in the midnight sky You know times I have brought for you Caught every 
I'm home. There's the hub. Got the mail. It's open. Did you hold that the right way up? I did. Okay, so just making sure. Just trying to keep you honest. Good, focus. Good job. Hub's making some baked potatoes in the oven. We're gonna eat and then we're gonna go on a coffee date. So we're kidless until Sunday. I wanted to go on a Pokemon Go date. No, I wanted to go on a Pokemon Go date and he thought, he was like, really? You did not You're see, playing hey, Pokemon hey, Go? You did not see my facial expression. <laughs> you didn't hear my tone of voice, okay? So don't infer. He, that's what he said. He was like, you're playing Pokemon Go. Don't you know that you're not a millennial? Okay. Aw, this is for my brother. My brother, my youngest brother, Clinton, owns a lot of businesses because this doesn't even, I don't even recognize where this came from. What is that, Western Patch Company? Yeah, so my brother owns Western Patch Company which is an online store and they make custom patches. And we ordered, I ordered two of the Thin Blue Line. You can see that patch. Um, all of the proceeds from these patches are going, 100% of the proceeds are going to the Dallas PD. He will, once they were sold out, which I need to check with them and see if they've sold out. Once they sold out, he was going to hand deliver a check to Dallas, to the Dallas PD. So, we ordered two. One for you, one for me. We ordered two patches and to help donate money to Dallas PD after the awful tragedy that happened. Um, anyway, if you want to order one, go to Western Patch. Co.com. They were ten dollars, ten bucks a piece. Pretty cool. Anyway. They also double as uh, combs. They double as combs. <laughs> or hair straighteners. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Westernpatchco.com. If you'd like to check these out, and now I got hair on them. Cool. See you after dinner. All right, boss, which we going to get coffee. We got the T-tops out, the Jeep. Got my handsome Jeep driver. We're gonna go on a coffee date. Put the windows down. What is it? It says it's 99, but I don't think it's 99. It doesn't feel like it's 99. It feels much cooler now that the sun's going down. We're going to get coffee at my favorite coffee place, Toot Sweet. They opened a location over by us at the Memorial City Mall. And they're building a Maggiano! What? Check that out! Yeah, so Choose Sweet opened up a location inside Memorial City Mall, which is like 10 minutes from us. Which is freaking awesome. So, Darren and I, on our coffee date, are going to get coffee from Choose Sweet. Best coffee in Houston, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. In the midnight sky, hot air is dark. In the midnight sky, you know that I have bright for you. Oh, 
them is in the midnight sky. Caught in this in the midnight sky. Caught in this